Now, from the Ford Sports Desk, KOMU 8 Sports. Hello, everybody. It was a heartbreaking overtime loss for the Missouri Tigers last night against UCLA. The Tigers had a chance to close out the game in the second half, but they just couldn't finish. After playing to a 47-47 tie in the first half, UCLA came out strong early, but Missouri would fight back. Phil Pressey led the way with 19 points and 19 assists. The assist mark established a new Missouri single game record and the Tigers worked to a 86-77 lead late. But the offense dried up as UCLA tied it up at 88. A late foul on Phil Pressey caused controversy as coach Frank Haith wanted a flagrant foul, but to no avail and it was off to overtime where both teams would struggle early going scoreless in the first two minutes but eventually a three-pointer with a minute left in overtime from Shabazz Muhammad would prove to be the difference as UCLA won 97-94. We made some really gambling plays and that really cost us. We, we need to learn how to finish the game out the last uh, three minutes of the game. My teammates are growing, uh, growing to figure out how I play. I mean, I have, I have a unique, unique type of game, and my, it's going to take time for my teammates to learn the, how to cut and find the open spots, and I really feel like we're, we're going, going together. More SEC hoops. It's the Battle of Kentucky. John Calipari's Wildcats taking on fourth-ranked Louisville. First quarter, nifty pass inside, and the slam dunk. Kentucky up three. Gang started out on the right foot, but later on, Behannon with the steal here. And the exclamation mark on this one with the big reverse slam dunk. He had a team high, 20 points. Louisville threatening to run away with this one. Up 12 already. Siba with the drive and the foul. He had 19. But Kentucky would come back. 30 seconds left. Goodwin from downtown gets the foul too. Wildcats trying to keep it close. 20 seconds left though. Bahannon, another steal and another dunk. Louisville, they beat Kentucky 80 to 77. The Missouri women's basketball team was on the road today in Memphis. Mizzou is 7-5 in program history against Memphis, including a 58-48 win last year at Mizzou Arena. This was the battle of the two Tiger teams. The Memphis Tigers early on. Nicole Dixon with the three. She had a game-best 28 points in this one. But Missouri, Morgan I, she can drain some threes, too. She had 13 points. And then later on, Morgan I, another three. Three of those on the day for her. It's threes everywhere. And then it's the Morgan Eyes show. Another bucket from her. Mizzou is down 39-28 at halftime, though. Memphis responds, however. Bilkis Abdul-Kadir with the three-pointer right here. And then later on, it's more Memphis. Ariel Hearn takes it herself. And Memphis tops Mizzou 72-69. And in other women's action, UConn snapped number one Stanford's 82-game home winning streak today. Kalina Mosqueda Lewis dropped a game-high 19 points. The number two Huskies blew out the top-ranked Cardinals 61-35. So much for Battle of the Titans. This one was more like David versus Goliath if David had his hands tied behind his back. It was a bit of a revenge after Stanford ended UConn's 90-game winning streak two years ago, nearly to this day. UConn will jump to number one in the rankings. They've won seven NCAA titles and could be on their way to number eight this season. And now on to some more college basketball action. This time we head off to the NAIA for Columbia College Hoops. The Cougars hosted day one of the Cougars vs. Cancer Classic tonight. There are the Cougar men in the huddle getting ready to go. First half, it's Columbia's Jordan Dressler finds Marquette Morrell for the basket. Cougars up 13 to 6 early on. And then later on, Dressler in the paint gets the bucket and the foul. He cannot be stopped. And check out Dressler on defense. Forces a bad pass here. That sets up Devin Griffin for the fast break. Dressler, he would just do it all with an assist here to Derek Dilworth for two. Cougars up. 22, 25, and you're about to see more Jordan Dressler. That's not him. Wait for it. Wait for it. Almost. There he is. And he's going to hit the three-pointer. Columbia College wins 71-54, and they improve to 13-0 and on the year. The CC women also in action versus AIB from out of Iowa. There's coach Mike Davis. First half, Tierney Safer catches a long pass and then hits the three-pointer. 27-10, Cougars leading big early. Ladies, grab your popcorn. Second half, down the lane comes Aqua Corpening with a jumper. She's trying to make a splash in this one. And then later on, Corpening again. This time, she's going to pass to Heather English for the three-pointer. Columbia College wins 82-52. 
And the Joe Mockins Grade 8 Classic is on its final day of play today in Jefferson City. No local teams managed to make it to a championship game, but Rockbridge and Jefferson City tipped off in the championship of the consolation bracket. And off to Jeff City we go for a classic here. Second quarter, it's Rockbridge's Alex Ofadle. You recognize him as the son of Bruins football coach AJ Ofadle. He gets the three-pointer, and there's Dad. I'm sure he's proud of that shot. Second quarter, Jeff City, nice pass inside to Scott Stegman. He's also a football player. He had a game-high 21 points. The Jays trail, however, by five. Jeff City comes back, though. Deshaun Williams with the layup in traffic. Jays lead 48-45 late. But Rockbridge, Ryan Kreklow with the quick hands and gets the steal. Nick Norton will end up with the layup. Norton had a team-high 20 points. Rockbridge takes back the lead by a narrow margin, 50-49. to 49. But Jeff City, Harold Robertson with the three-pointer. And the Jays lead 54-52, but this one will go back and forth. Next play, Rockbridge, Nick Norton driving, gets the layup. Bruins lead 55-54. Jeff City is going to call a timeout and drop one last play. And on the last chance for Jeff City, Oji Anobi. It can't go, misses the three-pointer, and Rockbridge wins 55-54. Elias Girls playing for third place today. Early on in the first quarter, it's Elias' Bree Zanders. Remember that name, because you're going to be hearing it a lot. She hits the jumper. Crusaders lead 9-5, and later in the first quarter, now on defense, Zanders with the block. She says no. She also had a game-high 21 points that was named to the all-tournament team. And later in the first, Elias' Bailey Franca misses, but who else? Bree Zanders grabs the rebound and scores. Elias wins 57 to 49. That's all for sports. Back to the news desk. All right, thanks, Martin. It's an unusual sight off.